right, we here with game two. And they gave you match for we go Taz again. Oh, he on Joy this time. Now we have a very interesting matchup in our hands, man. The Baksha against the Joy. Good clear for both, but one significantly tankier and more mobile than the other, technically in the rotations. So I think this is where the side laners again will make a difference. But looking at the Rome's priority right now, you can see mid lane for the side of Alter Ego. Whereas for Van Strong on that Ruby, he is trying to be as annoying as possible, man. Leveraging this early game power that they have secured in their draft. Uh, very good, just balanced here, right? Small check, it's all flickers, no purifies here for a second. Okay, oh, what now? First, and almost towards the 30% of his HP, but now still surviving. Well, the presence of the Angela really makes the lane a bit more bearable, that's for sure. We'll see what can do what they can do afterwards though, because the phobias isn't the best of rovers. So it's gonna provide a lot of magic damage, but you won't be able to, to actually impact the fights in these side laners and not have in the scope of Eagles Legends. Oh, okay. I don't think it's a roamer though. I think it's, it's a, mid a mid phobias. Uh it's a Rossi Angela Rome, right? So yeah, but see here with the peel that half this phobias can provide. Are you saying that it's not enough? The eye of the, well, the eye, right? The, the pullback from the second skill. That's the only real contact that he has, and now why? Evo, so they're just making aggressive moves around the side that the turtle is spawning in. They're trying to make sure they have all the control so that Taz will not find a quick hole. He'll be able to just wiggle in and maybe go for a big play of steel. Nice. Oh, very low. Nice. One HP, now four they took him out the fight. That's that should be a free turtle. Make their move on the turtle, Rossi. To flick her out of the shield. Let's see. There. Evil's glory will control this Rossi knockout strike by Veldora. Doing a lot of damage, man. Strong trying to invade right now. Taz will just be focused on. No. Goes back. Knockout strike. Knocking him up. Electrifying beats on the fan. On to the turtle. Retribution battle. It's going to be Taz who wins it. Taz is too OP. Demonic Forge on to the back. Van Strong going to be taken down. Oh, one more hit. And Kright gets first blood. Taz gets the first turtle. Everything goes perfectly for Alter Ego. Right That's on crazy. the board. And yes, wow. Alter Ego winning this important, important early game there. I can see here, Evo's glory. They were able to somehow find momentum with forcing Pi using the flicker. But they weren't able to punch back or punch further. The two wow. ex Evo's members were the two members that shined in that team fight. That's a mm. that's an oof. That's a better pill to swallow for Evos right here. And this is again showing that they're all in on the aggression, but their team doesn't really do well moving backwards, right? That's where Alt Rigo actually has a huge advantage. So if Evos have secured so much crowd control, they have to make sure that this time they're the ones that make the fight decisive, instant. If they're going back and forth, the Joy, the Fulvius, the Angela will make this a lot more difficult. It's almost like the shoe is on the other foot. Now, Alfrigo are the ones moving back and forth with sustain that the Minotaur provide for Evos in the previous game. Autorossi still has a bit of potential. Damn. Damn. That oh. Be a lot of oh. Down back okay. For the demonic force now, it's Taz with the electrifying beast, torn apart memory, not dealing enough damage there, but he still got one kill over Little with trait. a basic attacks. Warlord is down for Rossi, and I think Alter Ego will take that trade any day of the week. It's a very good trade for Alter Ego. Good recovery, right? Because Rossi, he was on a tight corner there and taken out. But the recovery, beautiful there by Nino. He was glory there. We're, we're unable to really find an effective trade from that fight. One of the first picks in this game, well, one of the earlier picks at least, was the Baxia for Evos. And I was thinking that maybe this Baxia power in the early game, the mobility, will allow it to be a bit more uh, in control of like where the fights happen and all, and all that. But Alter Ego, they're doing a great job just baiting Evos in into those fights that are really not in their favor. Take a look at the mid lane here, right? Um, Evos Glory, they're trying to show intimidation, trying to find it. A control, more control here in that turtle, but it seems like you're in, in no rush, considering that the Angela they notice is missing. Right? Of course, they will not, they will hesitate here in trying to commit on towards the turtle. As Alter Ego, though, they will not give this turtle freely. Shield oh. unity onto Pi this time. Right, Demonic Force still there. Penalty zone on the two locks him down and flickers out the safety. The Demonic Force is still ready for Kright as he gets, he's gonna be mm -hmm. able to pop it in all the way he's on going the going to AE for show. Sure. Oh, oh Evo's won a turtle, but they're gonna die. By the rhythm, now 
They're gonna die for it. But doesn't have it on cooldown. Bands be chased down still, though, and Rossi picks up the kill. They lose out on the turtle, but they win out in the fight. And now I think AE won that trade. <laughs> Where they're gonna be able to find a tier one for free. Hey, he now, definitely he won that trade. Again for the Dang. side of Alter Eagle. They got the mid. Another pause occurred. But yes, right on time. Land of Dawn. Here we go. Minute number six. Six. Yeah, we will continue the match here as Nino as somehow as predicted. Quite independent here, but oh, Evos with oh. the conceal. Shield unity. Hard guard still there. The three man penalty zone is actually going to be able to help Nino. That was a good engage on them, but. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Didn't go well. Damage to find another. Nothing is going Evo's glory's way. Evo's glory. They weren't ready for that play. They weren't That's ready crazy. for the counter set wow. up. And Alter Ego. They read Evo's glory like a book, like a kindergarten book, like a picture book, man. I think they were really expecting. Oh, Taz gonna take a tower to too. Flicker, but I don't know if they were expecting Pi. Just waiting in the bushes there, man. That was sus. He just came out of nowhere, and. They just ruined the whole play, man. Four man penalty zone, stopping all the follow up from chasing Nino under the tower. That's disastrous for Evo's glory. But now they're going to go at it again. They have the mobility advantage. Van goes in. Shield unity, two levels down. Good, I'm offended. Connecting on the twos of our force as well. But the penalty zone connects again. On the two members, Nino's just dealing free damage in the back. Dang. One shot and taking them out. Warlord forced to pop in the black shoes, but he only falls to the clutches of Taz. Wow. My goodness gracious, Alter Ego are ferocious. Man, a throw in the tower. They different, bro. Alter Ego, they're not stopping right now. Evo's glory, zero answers. And Halbert already secured as well. So what does that mean? Van will not be as tanky. He is like a cracker. Top so, towers so down. Easy to kill. Otherwise, nothing to out of the ordinary apart from that fast farm by Brody. Well, look at Van, dude. He does not have a single oh, item man. completed. You're wondering why he's squishy, why he's a cracker, Gani. Look at him. Look at the physical damage source. He has to go with Nina. He's brittle. And now, even the Lilia, right? Rushing the Necklace of Durin to deal with the Angela. There's no damage. He's not a real threat. They have to rely on Super Red. Oh, oh wait a minute. BPZ, Veldora, smooshed and torn by the Yo. Nino finds it now going for the siege on the tier two war. You know, going crazy. The wave. Meanwhile, mid lane Taz pushing it down as well, shoving these waves and knocking on Evo's glory's base. You know what? I think Evo's glory now, again, same story like game one. They need to just hit that contingency button and just drag this game out, even though if that happens, it's still not a sure win, right? Fun fact here, two games of Evo's Glory early to mid game potential is actually ahead. It's higher they, than Alter it's Ego. It's higher than Alter Ego, but they failed on the execution. Oh, Ooh. again, Banstrom gets deleted. Taz is Dang. blocking the back line down. He just takes Super Red out. <laughs> and Warlord was still holding that bush. Oh, man. The Joy is deleting everything. This is going from bad to worse for Evos, man. Now they have no control. Now no one can stay in the front. I said that they have to try and go for flanks, make it difficult. Just spread apart so that there's no combo. The AOE God. from Alter Ego can't work. But when they're this far behind, is it even possible? Man, no. just keep going for the stream. AE's not about to let up. Van <laughs> barreling into the first member they see, but Alter Ego, they're just planning way too far ahead for that to work. Just two kills now for Evo's Glory in the second game. Show Zero that Alter Ego, they're not messing around here in their second game. Now the First Lord has spawned here. And of course, Evo's Glory with their firepower, with their lack of resources as well. They will not be able to just, you know, contest that Lord. Mm -hmm. Are they going to opt for, you know, avoiding a team fight and going for a split push? Because now for Alter Ego, even that is something that they can do, right? They've been sending Taz to go alone. They can send Rossi to clear waves. And for Evos, the only real feasible play is to send Veldora on the Paquito, going aggressively, and maybe going for a dive 
and taking out Rossi in order to get something massive, but he might get taken out instead. Penalty zone, just one oh, shot. Man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, with a torn apart memory. <laughs> Yo. Gets him to that godlike status that he's waiting for. Yeah. Nino now. Nino popping off. Of pie and cry, looking for another objective. Getting those finishes, and too. Be able to find it. The tier two in the mid lane. Almost as free as that 50% off the first 10 times draw. Go ahead and take a, take a look at it, boys. Aspirants. <laughs> Call it Amirka Arashi. Will it end before 1420? Mirko. Uh 1420? I think it will end. Yeah. Uh, over 1420. Over. Over. Over 1420. Gotcha. Right. You all check the minutes, the counters for the Lord. Yeah, good. But yes, <laughs> just good. 40, you know what else is good? What? Oh, take a look at Sope, guys. Yeah, you should check it out. Top up diamonds for the game MLBB. That's ML Bang Bang. It's free. 100 times a month transfer to all banks. It's very convenient, man. I mean, it's built into so many different things. The go pay. But right now, for Alter Ego, it's just smooth sailing from here, man. No, there's no real maneuver that Evos can really surprise them with. Wow. Just going in for the objective zone. Mm -mm. Ty's oh, trying to go for something. Dang. Oh my god, Vanstrong can't even do anything. That's the anti-CC built into this electrifying beat. So Evos can only watch as he dances. You know what? I, you know what I was thinking, right? Usually in football, whenever you score against your former team, you don't celebrate. Will Taz celebrate? If Oof. they do seal the victory. Well, Taz and Cry celebrate. Oh, true. Oh, right, celebrate in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. And now, again, ladies and gentlemen, quite one-sided, the situation that we have here. 11K on the deficit of that gold, right? So, Evos, Glory, they're throwing punches, but they're punching air. Pi oh again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh man, oh the disrespect. God. We got the recalls happening already. This Woo! time, Van tried to open that bush. The last time I saw a player open that bush, they got shotgun, bro. Point. They got deleted. Point. That's a scary bush to be in. And Pi just stood there menacingly. Look at Van, dude. He's getting zoned away by a quote unquote yeah. assassin. But on the top side, though, good value for Evos, and they have control here. And they pressure Alter Ego into losing control over the Lord. Never mind. We go for a trade, which is again the best thing they could look for right now. I don't think they have an they opportunity got to. to actually walk up and go for the Lord. So they'll pick up a tier two. It's still it's the best trade they could ask for. And also bad news for Evos Glory. Taz just picked up the genius wand, which is a nasty, nasty um, item as well. Considering, take a look. Lilia, of course, Harith here, no magic resist items whatsoever it will what, first Athena? of all you know what you know what oh. electrifying beats my god the damage and the tie up as well oh, it's Athena, brother holy moly it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter they destroying them bro it's just gone. Too squishy, man. he's too fit just gone this potentially may be the final push of the series ladies and gentlemen 15 to 2 12 000 gold lead let's see can alter ego pull it off that's your answer. He just broke the turret. Now oh. penalty zones in the front. Super red. So holding on to that flicker van. Holding on to the Lord. But Alter Ego are not concerned. Now they the going to defend. Go for the base they, turret in the mid lane. taking the turret. So posturing over. Getting a position to possibly dive in. They're waiting for another wave. They still are in no rush. They have the time to play with. And it's been. It's over 1420. They're taking it slow. They still. Hey. Alter Ego needs to be a bit careful though. They're moving very aggressively. But they're not all grouped together to back each other up. It's almost like they are expecting Evos to chicken out when they're called on their bluff. But if Evos realize that, they can possibly get like a 5v5v3. Hard guard, electrifying beast, penalty zone. With a flicker, only catching Van. Van strong on the back. I'm offended with the oh. flicker as well. Bringing Pike back all the way. To oh, did they catch the one? Piece. He's still going to be able to tank out so much of the damage. Short apart member used up. No members killed just yet. Cry forced to flick around and ultra eagle. That was a good defense. If they get this base turret up top. It should be extremely value, but Evo's glory are still able to hold their ground and finally are showing some signs of life. A uh, very good defense here shown by Evo's glory, but, but again, um, technically Alter Ego didn't go all in, right? right. Uh, they still managed to save some flickers, which might be useful for their next offense. And in the next minute or so, 
there will be Lord. Should Evo's glory move and advance forward? It's nothing to lose. Do or die should they contest. Hmm. I think if they don't if they don't contest, I feel like it's gonna be a bit difficult for them to has been a split. Right now they've kind of caught up as in they have some damage now, right? No longer are the damage dealers of Evos ignored by Alter Ego. And Taz, again, just boom. Might be overextended. No, never mind. I think he was he might have been going for the back door. Showing me like, nah, nah. Or for that tower nah, down there. Man, that's not it. That's the Taz way of electrifying beats. <laughs> Gathering good information yeah. though. Let's see your 10 seconds to the not yet evolved Lord. But yeah, Alter Ego. Um, seems like still, of course, holding the map control here again. Evos, do or die. Should they contest here as uh, Veldora is still top side? They have to contest. If they don't, have it's over. Contest, but they are marching onwards. We also holding on to it. Warlord walking up very aggressively. Black Shoes already popped in as well. As Craig jumps into the back line. Banner is in the midst of it all right now. But I'm afraid it's going to be able to connect. But Taz is still going to be able to be the one to secure it. And they kill as well. Veldora 1 HP. But Rossi with a flicker forward. Oh, double. Finds a double. The Angela in game number two with a double kill in the 17th minute of the game. Three members yes, left standing with an enhanced Lord in the mid lane. El yep. Familia, baby, and an alter ego now. That was earlier, that last Lord was potentially his last push, but this is surely their last push what? in the mid. Oh, Van Strong is getting bursted down by the Assassin, poked down by Crichton, now forced to go in. I'm offended, Flicker, bring him back, but a penalty zone is just there for formality. Oh, they oh, dive oh, in the face. It's Crichton who dunks on him. It is all nice. over, and you can see here, does Taz celebrate? The answer is yes. Holy moly. That was El a good Familia game. 